Hello! So today I will be talking about UDL or Universal Design for Learning. UDL is a way to approach lesson planning and teaching in general that accommodates for students of all types and all learning styles and really teaches to the margin. Um, typically UDL is thought as a way to approach teaching special learners such as those with autism spectrum disorder or other beha or behavioral issues but realistically UDL is helpful for any learner because it allows them to specifically tailor the lesson for their specific learning style so for example if I was teaching a lesson in my music class about thirds and fifths I would sing it so I would say do do mi so mi do and I would go into the instruction about how thirds and fifths stack up together and use an oral sense so that the kids who are oral learners can get grasp the concept that way. And then I also might uh, show it up on a board and show a staff and then show building chords with thirds and fifths that, so that they can see, oh, if it's on a space, and another space, it's a third, or a line, another line. Uh, and that not only starts introducing um, just the idea of reading music, but also helps visual learners. And then I might also say, all right, everybody put your hands up. Uh, this is a staff, right? So we're going thirds and fifths. So everybody show me a third on your hands. And some kids might go like this, or some kids might go like this. Um, and then I say, everybody show me a fifth. And this will help uh, kinesthetic learners, or I might go out to a elongated staircase uh, and say, the first step you take onto a staircase, those are our lines. And then when you take the step into the middle of the stair, it's a space. So can you jump down a third for me? I probably would avoid doing fifths just because that might get dangerous in this sense. Um, but it's really just a way to diversify your lessons to teach to learners of all types and to really accommodate for people who are outside of a mainstream learner. And it's a really great method for any teacher to use because ultimately it's not only going to benefit your students, but it's going to save you time because you won't have to reteach and reteach lessons. And your students will honestly just grasp the material better. And in the long term, that's what we're looking for.